I'm in Virginia fishing the Potomac River around Seneca Park and today I'm going to be attempting the mystery tackle box smallmouth slam challenge. For the MTB Smalley Slam challenge you need to get a mystery tackle box and try to catch one fish on every bait inside of it. Let's take a look and see what we get. Got a drop shot kit, a popper, jig heads, a jig, and crawls. This is actually a really good box for uh, smallies. In fact, uh, the drop shot is one of my top three favorite techniques for smallmouth bass. So this should be a great slam. Hopefully I can uh, complete it in less than my last slam, which took over 12 hours. But uh, we'll see how it goes today. I'm going to start with one of my confidence baits for smallies. And uh, this drop shot kit is made by Optimum Baits. And the really cool thing about it is on the back, it actually shows you exactly how to tie a drop shot rig in case you've never done it before. All rigged up, use the palomar knot to tie on the hook. And I'm going with a 12 inch leader to the weight. Let's take a look at some of the baits provided in the kit. It's actually a pretty nice selection. This drop shot kit actually comes with some really unique baits. This one I've never seen before. It's like a wacky worm with uh, hair at the end. Then a drop, standard drop shot worm and uh, two minnow baits. The smallies here usually feed on crayfish or minnows. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this translucent bait in the uh, clear water I'm fishing. When I'm rigging up a bait on the drop shot, I like to go through the bottom. And instead of coming straight through the top, I like to come out through the nose a little bit. Just a little to keep the bait weedless. And rigging it up like this is going to keep the bait completely horizontal in the water and give it the most natural action. I've been fishing for about 10 minutes, got a couple hits, um, but they didn't hold on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some uh, KVD fish sticks, crawfish scent. Let's try to get these uh, fish to commit. And we'll go ahead and uh, show the time to see how long this um, slam takes me. 12.48. Hopefully I can finish before it gets dark because that'd be real tough fishing with smallies at night. Bad news guys, I just broke off my rig, but I uh, tied on a new one using my gear. And I have been getting some nibbles, but uh, nothing huge hitting. So we'll see what happens. Get the one fish on. Oh. Not a smallie. Well, first fish of the day, <laughs> got a little bluegill. Pretty one. Well, this is a, uh, what kind of sunfish is this? It's not a bluegill, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's a pretty one though. There's one, oh, it's a hit. Fish, that's a smallie, nice smallie, nice smallie. Oh yeah, oh nice, beautiful smallie. Woo, there we go. First small mouth of the day, oh great. Let's let him go. Let's take a look what time it is. It's uh, 201, it took me a little while to catch that first fish. This is only my second time fishing here and the first time I was out here I was with my cousin and he got bored after 30 minutes so we didn't fish very much. Alright, next bait, the popper or the jig? Um, I'm feeling the popper. Got a nice boy ducket series popper. I just used a spinner bait in my last slam and it worked out great so uh, expecting good things from this bait. Alright, the popper's all rigged up. I wanted to use a mono leader but I forgot to bring a mono filament with me. So uh, I'm not going to use fluorocarbon because it sinks. I'm just going to go straight braid and see how it works out. All right, I'm about to attempt one of my famous river crossing moves. The current on my side is way too fast. There's still water over on the other side, so I'm going to need to cross this area with fast current and get across. Let's uh, see what happens. Whew, it's chilly. All right. Oh, this won't be... Oh! All right, let's see what happens. I'm getting deeper. Ooh. Oh, this isn't quite as bad as the Patapsco River, but it's still pretty strong. Ah. Jeez. 
Man, it's really fast. I'm almost at the checkpoint where uh, uh, all right guys it's too deep I'm gonna abandon the plan plan B go back and figure something else out there's one oh nice blow up Nice blow up in that popper. Oh, it's pulling some drag. Nice smallie right here. Whoo! Man, that gets your heart going. Oh, don't lose them in the current. Oh, geez, it's pulling. Whew. Light line, gotta be careful. Oh, he's got, got in the current. Don't lose him. Come here. Oh, man. Oh, geez, this is a big one. Whew. It's either really big or really strong. Oh, no, it's a big one. Oh, my gosh, it's a big smallie, guys. Whoo! Oh, that's a beautiful one. Whew. All right, I thought it was a monster, but it turns out it's about to say, oh, okay. Oh, jeez, don't get off. Got him. Woo! Another beauty. Boy, duck it, popper. Whew. Beautiful fish. All right, let's let him go. Whew. All right, two baits down, two to go. Let's see what we got next. I know we got some crawls in here. All right, do I want to go with the jig and the crawl or the, uh, the jig head with the crawl? Let's go with these Buckeye Sled Jig Heads and uh, Cabin Creek Express Crawls next. I'm not gonna lie guys, I have a really good feeling about this bait. There's one, got him, it's another smallie. On the crawl. Uh oh, stuck in the weeds. Got him. All right, he's out of there. All right. Three down. I catch the smallest fish today on the biggest bait. Go figure. I was just fishing uh, all throughout today. I've been catching fish, uh, fishing right after the moving water into uh, slower pools. So I was just fishing that pool right there, right after these uh, my faster moving water right here. Alright, just one bait left in the MTV box. It's uh, 4 o'clock. I've been out here for uh, three hours about. Let's go and let this guy go and get to that uh, last bait. Let's take a look in here. Uh, where is it? Yep. It's a uh, Buddha. Swim jig, three eighths of an ounce, green pumpkin, a uh, green pumpkin type color, which will go perfect with these uh, crawls I use as the trailer. And this is a pretty big profile bait, definitely more of a largemouth bait in my opinion. But uh, we'll see if there are any the chunk smallies I want to eat it. All right, I thinned out the weed guard, trimmed the skirt, added a trailer. Let's end the day with a hog. There's one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I just tied this lure on like a second ago. This is my fourth cast with this jig. Whoo. Jig did not let me down. Ended the day with a nice. Oh no, it's in the trees. No, no, no. Gee. God. Get out. Get out of the trees. Oh, right, he's out. Oh my gosh. It's a pig. Right, it's not a pig, but it's a really good smallie. Don't get off. Ah. Lip him. Ah, oh, got him. Woo! Biggest smallie of the day. What a fish to end on. Man. Official time, 414. Took me about a little over three hours to complete the slam. 
about 25% of what it took me last time. Feels real good. Feels awesome to catch end of the day on the biggest smallie. Had a great time out here. And uh, definitely recommend that you guys uh, try out. If you, have, get, if you have a mystery tackle box subscription, definitely try out the smallie slam. If there are any smallies around you. Challenge complete. Stay tuned for more MTB slam action next month.